For decades, artist Scott Jacobs has been riding Harleys and drawing them. Art Quench met with him at his studio in San Marcos. I didn't get into the Harleys until um, early 90s when I started painting them. But the transition from going as a, as a motor motorcycle enthusiast into the art was actually a suggestion from a guy that works for us now, a guy named Ron Koppel. Um, we were on the phone and uh, he goes, I was getting bored with what I was painting. So he goes, what about Harleys? So I went and got a couple books and things on that, uh, like that on, on motorcycles and I picked out a couple photographs I liked in the book and I sketched them and I did some paintings and then we did a couple shows and it just snowballed. So popular around the world, today his art is seen in over 90 countries and is a favorite seller on cruise lines. Well, look at the work. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. It's this is actually, the painting behind me here is uh, from 1996. Uh, this is called Catch the Day. It's actually a painting that we purchased back uh, about a year and a half ago. And we've, we've been fortunate enough to be able to purchase back 30 some odd paintings of mine over the last couple years. So for me to be able to purchase an old painting of mine at a decent price, to resell it to somebody who's on that waiting list, it's like getting three months of my life back. What advice would you give to young emerging artists today? You've got to find out if you are an artist that just wants to paint for yourself or if you want to paint to make money at it. Because to paint for yourself is great, you know, and maybe you'll never sell a painting in your life because you're just painting for you and it's not appealing to anybody else. But for me as an artist and a businessman, I need to paint things that pay the bills. I, I'm one of those artists that reinvents himself. You know, you know, I do a lot of art that's motorcycle related. And then to open people up, more people up to my work, I started doing cars. I started doing wine. I started doing all these different types of imagery. And the reason I do that is to draw more people to my art. Because if you're not interested in my wine art, maybe you're interested in the motorcycles or maybe you're interested in the cars. At the heart of Scott's success is his wife, Sharon, of 30 years. I know that we all work very hard. I mean, we live and breathe this business 24-7. And it is what you do when you have your own company. Uh, the future, it's funny. You know, there's that letting go of the vine quote. And I always feel like I'm free falling. And that's the best part because Scott, the girls, me, we are all willing to let go of that vine and free fall and see what we grab onto next. And I think when you get stagnant in a business and you stop wanting to grow, that's when you sink. And we have so many irons in the fire right now. Our, our new building in Deadwood is amazing. Now with the help of his family, the Jacobs are opening their first motorcycle museum along with an art gallery and store in Deadwood, South Dakota, near the heart of the annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. This won't be Jacob's first gallery. He started out as an art dealer and gallery owner before becoming an artist. In fact, his first experience was at the age of 17, growing up in New Jersey, working as an art framer for a small gallery owner. Later, he saved up enough to buy it. The woman that you purchased the gallery from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sherry um, Hall was her name. Sherry Hall. Uh, is she no longer with us? or is I she, don't know. I have not, not sure. um, have spoken with her? since that was, you know, what is that, 35 years ago, 37 years ago. I have not talked to her since then. If you could speak to her, if you could, you know, say something to her, what would you like to say to her? Because it seems like that really... Um, that was a big stepping stone That was a big stone stepping yeah, stone, yes. definitely. I would love to show her uh, what the opportunity that they gave me led to. Because for them to take my 3750 bucks that I had and sell me that gallery was almost like a gift to me. 